guess what? It ain't about just you. But let's take the point you made, since though that's how y'all want to do, make it all about you. If somebody told you to smile and you said you were what, offended? Yeah. Why? Yes. Why? Because it's like, why is it such a, a demand for for women to, well, especially for black women to just always look a certain way? Like, why can't we just naturally be whatever we feel? You got, so, so I want to be, I want to get this clear. Someone just says, hey, smile, and it's offensive to you? I mean, for the most part, it just comes across as like demanding. And I'm not saying demanding. that I feel, yes. Huh. Like, what if is I don't it, feel like smiling? What if I'm in deep thought? What if I'm, what if I'm listening to something that's this is where we're, this is, this is where we're at. This about. is where we're at. This is where we're at. We have civilized the world and done such a good job in first world countries to where women, in this case, black women, are offended just to be asked to smile. It's What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm back with another episode of Foolery. So, we're going to jump right on. My man, Kevin Samuels, brought it up two years ago. Well, three years now. Why our sisters refuse to smile at us. Why? All these reasons why you just don't smile, but you smile at everybody else. But not us, because we're so threatening. That shit is getting so old with y'all. But I want y'all to hear this new lady talking about, this young girl talking about her experience. And I want y'all to pay attention to it. And then I'm going to play back one of the old ones Kevin had of this older lady talking about it. So y'all know what to do before we hit it off. Hit that like, subscribe, share, and definitely hit that notification so y'all get the next updates when I post another video. So no further ado, I ain't going to waste your time. Let's get at it because this right here pisses me off. Let's go, people. Let's I think that... A lot of women do see because I personally understand that I have a lot of work to do personally and one thing that I do love and appreciate about you is how you do stress and encourage people in our community to get therapy but one thing on the other end is just feeling safe uh, I did not watch your video from last weekend but I heard you talking about women not smiling at men which I'm actually in another country right now. And, you know, I'm from California. I feel like Californians just smile a lot, but in certain situations, I specifically will not smile at a man. Because I do not want him to engage with me because I don't feel safe. Like I literally carry a pocket knife on me <laughs> because I've been in situations where men have come up to me assuming that I was a prostitute. Men have come up to me, quartered me in parking lots. And I see your face right now, but I, I mean, I'm just speaking from my personal experience. Girl, I'm, I am because I find it interesting. I just left California and I'm watching women smile all around Beverly Hills. But it seems to that seems to be black women seem to, from what I hear is, you attract an inordinate amount of uh, rapists, stalkers, and men willing to do you harm. So to protect yourself, you walk around strong faced with mace and a knife. Okay, so let me jump in this right now. So this is what gets me with y'all when y'all say this stuff. I ain't smiling because I feel like I'm gonna be threatened and I'm gonna be this and that and that. And y'all always, this happens where? At clubs. Where else? 
at clubs. But this is the crazy thing about that. You all will go right back to that club again next week. And the next week. And then if it ain't that club, it's another club. With the same type of men. The same type of club. You won't switch it up. You'll go to the same one. And you get the same results. So who really is the problem? You want to go where these type of people that hang out versus going somewhere where they don't hang out. Which one make more sense? I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I've lived in because I've lived in some of the most dangerous cities in the world. When I feel comfortable when I'm out, I will smile at people. Well, but if okay, well then guess what? Then guess what? If it waits for you to feel comfortable, you will be strong faced and alone. Because the funny thing is, the group of women who are feminine and smile don't tend to have these problems. They tend to have friends around them and support. Y'all walk around isolated. Uh oh. <laughs> no, I I mean, listen, I don't understand the statistics on that. I mean, I'm sure you know the statistics around oh, I know. Well, women yeah. who have been sexually assaulted. Okay, ma'am, we're going to talk about the minority. I'm not going to talk about the minority to excuse bad behavior. It's bad behavior that when non-black, <laughs> you know what's a video? When non-black men ask black women to smile, there's really not this kind of pushback. It's when black men ask black women to smile. We can make no request of you. I personally don't There's discriminate. nothing to do with you this, per this as person. Ma'am, we're talking about the group ethnic image. Yeah. Okay, I understand. When and I'm at work, when I'm in when I'm in the halls of corporate America and Brad tells Angela to smile, she has no problem flashing those pearlies. But when Damien asks you to smile, is this in a corporate setting or a Ma'am, it's world it's, it's it's everywhere, ma'am. It just amazes me how when you're talking to them about certain things, how they go to the extreme and all these other things to try to justify some foolery that they're trying to say. She said they're trying to think of something to say. Uh, 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 what's really the problem of smiling? It's not all this other stuff out here. What's the problem? Just answer the doggone question. At what point are you ladies going to start recognizing the problem is you? Black men have to go and look at what you were doing. I have to define every scenario, every setting for you to pick apart my issue. Walk around being unfriendly. Walk around without, no, but here's the thing. Are, do you want to be married? I do. You want children? Yes. Do you want a black man or do you care what race he is? I would prefer to have a black man. How old are you? I'm 26. Right. Where do you think these men are going to be? How many children would you like? Between one and three. The big number. Which one? One, two, or three? I mean, three is preferred. And do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant with your first child? I mean, I plan to continue to work. Do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant? Whether you plan to work or not, it's not the point. Do you want to have to work? I would have to work mm -hmm. um, to pay significant. I mean, I don't. Let want me ask to. it another way. Let me ask you another way. What percentage of the total family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime? Fifty cent is sorry, not fifty cent. Fifty percent of the load is fine. <laughs> bullshit. Oh, bullshit. Um, okay, so that I, means. So that means. Listen, listen, listen. Before you say that, that means. If you don't work, the family's at risk. You're paying 50%. If I got two, I got four legs on a stool, right? If I cut off two, I'm at risk. Right. You want to be responsible for 50% for a lifetime to 65. That's the that's the that's the math, ma'am. Do you want to have to what percentage of the fam, family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime? I mean, it's what I'm willing to do. It depends on I don't want on what I said. I want do you, what do you want to have to be responsible for? See, what you're willing to do is different. That's why I asked it the way I did. But I feel that position. What? No, 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 no. Don't answer my question. Don't, don't tell me what you feel like. Don't tell me what you feel like. Answer the question the way I asked it. Don't reframe it. She looking like a deer in headlights right now. She don't know what's going on.
Of course, I want my family to be financially secure. I answer so. the question the way I re answer the question the way I see what see. Answer the question. Out of 100%, what percentage of the fam family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime? Say 30%. 30%. Why was that so hard for you? To now, if you never get married, right? If you never marry, what percentage of your, fi of your family load, what percentage of your financial load would you have to be responsible for? 100%. Thank you. See how quick that was? Yeah. But I feel that women should be prepared to have savings, to have assets, to- Ma'am, you can feel like whatever out. you want to, but you, you can feel like whatever you want to. But when, you, when a man comes into the situation, women tend to think money just comes from anywhere. So that 50% number was not true. You don't want to have to be responsible for the mortgage, the lights, the college fund. You want your husband to be responsible for the lion's share of the bills. You may want to contribute, but you don't want to, where if you stop contributing for whatever reason, you don't want the family to be in jeopardy. True or false? Listen, I want true to be in a financial false. situation true to where my false. marriage doesn't true work or out false. all the time. True or false. True or false. See, this that single woman mindset that you don't know. You think, well, I'm not going to get married until I have enough just in case he leaves me or it doesn't work out. You're already planning for it to fail. But what you're not thinking about once you get married, it's all together. Y'all split, but y'all split the assets. Unless you're both going to do, you know, the prenups. And that can go in your favor or not. But all this planning to split is what got y'all mentality messed up. You're always looking for the failure. So it's not going to work. Y'all got to get out of that mindset. Think about the positive or something. Three kids. California, is that where you say you were? I'm... I'm not from Northern California. I'm from California. I'm in Mexico, actually. Okay, Southern or Northern? Northern. Right. How much money would a man need to make to be able to fund a family of three children and two adults, five people in Northern California? The man who's making the kind of money you're talking to be able to pay for 80% of the bills or more, do you think he's going to want a woman who's not friendly, who's not smiling? Those kind of men get women who are extremely cooperative, feminine and friendly. But who's to say if that woman wasn't walking with a man, she wouldn't be friendly or smiling because she feels safe. You see, how, you see how she just did that? You see, how, you see, look, see the bullshit safe. she just did? You just did some bullshit. You put a woman walking with a man and everything else. This is how far you guys got to go to justify your bad behavior. No, I don't believe so. I feel if a woman feels safe, when I feel safe, I do not mind. I will smile. I hope it works for it. I hope it works for it. Hopefully it works for you. When I was in Mexico, hopefully, hopefully, I'm hopefully, currently hopefully, hopefully okay. you can find a man, a black man, who is willing to put up with you only smiling when you feel safe. Because this goes deep for you. Because it goes deep for black women. But when you're in Mexico, did you smile or no? In Mexico or New Mexico, which one? I'm in Tulum, Mexico. But what I was going to say, I was in the club and I was smiling at women, I was smiling at people. The main woman, well, I was the only black woman in the club. No one was smiling back at me. So those women were not black. I, I can't believe this, this woman used a scenario or example of being in a club in Mexico and she's the only black woman in the club. That's your example. Actually, most of the women I've smiled at who didn't smile black back were white women. And that means so what? maybe the experience is different. Maybe white women love to smile at black men. I don't, and not black women. I are you sure? What, I didn't so are you? So I want you to be understood. You're talking about, you're talking about black women smiling at black men. You're going to relate it to you in a club smiling at women. I'm saying that maybe the experience is. I'm just talking about from what I've seen. It's not specific to black women, and it yeah, depends on it the is. scenario as yeah, well. I it, feel like we, things are How long have you been in Mexico? How long have you been in Mexico? A month. <laughs> and how long? 
Woo, Jesus, this is the cognitive dissonance. Listen, this, I want, we're talking, just so, for, for those at home, I just gave all these breakdowns and she gave me an example of her being in a club in Mexico one night, smiling at a group of women. To, to it just wasn't just the one night. It don't matter, it's been less than a day, a month. Now, she comes on here, makes an argument about not smiling at black men. But your rebut rebuttal is the white women not smiling at you or smiling. Who cares? What do that have to do with us? Then you in there for a month in another country and you're the only black person there. So what examples do you have of being attacked and threatened and done all these things to that you claim at the beginning of the video. You see how people be lying and talking about other people experience and why other people use somebody else's experience. If you ask most of the people like, did it really happen to you? No, but my friend said it happened to her or my girlfriend's friend happened to them. It never had happened to them. That's what she is. Ain't nothing happened to her. She just want to have something to say. Sounding all corny. You up in a whole different country and nobody paying your ass no attention. And we're going to juxtapose that against a lifetime of lived experience in Northern California with black men. It's irrelevant. What was that? It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Well, we can, we can stick to the point. My point is women feeling safe versus not feeling safe. So yes, in the community, well, that I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, here's the thing I would tell you. you, you know, when, you, when, when you don't smile and he walks out with a white woman, you'll feel, you can be, not feel safe and by your damn self. Because this is what's happening. This, this is what's happening. If, if, if you only smile when you feel safe, that's up to you. Do what you do. But what I'm telling you is the kind and color of black men you want are tired of your poor treatment. That's it. So while you guys are deciding whether or not I feel safe, the barometer, the temperature outside, who shot John, and every other group of women are coming in competing to be next to the kind and caliber man you want, and then they're competing to see who can get his attention. Just like the therapist who said before, no, I don't even think half of our women are competing for the average black man. So if you're competing for the average black man, you're damn sure you're competing for the best of black men. Okay. So safe or not, ma'am. You do what you want to do, but I would tell you this: well, the I women who actually have the best the behavior, behavior, whether we realize it or not, I'm saying that yes, it is an issue. Yes, I would love for black people to just smile freely at each other. I mean, that's a hundred. No, 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 no. Black see. women, not black people. It's not black people. It's not black women. It's black women. It's black people. It's black women. Yes, black, black people, black women. I want to see black women walking down the street, comfortable, smiling, happy, joyful, not angry. And you know, you, not, you know, how you, and you know how you fix that. Excuse me? You know how you fix that? How? With the person in the mirror. Yes. And that's, that's all you can I do. And the thing is, and the thing is, the thing is, ma'am, you don't strike me. <laughs> this is a long conversation about justifying what? A black woman's not wanting to smile because she does not, unless she feels safe. If, if the barometric I've conditions have to be off of that point. The, the bare minute, if, if the conditions have to be right for black women to just be as friendly as most women are normally, then you get the outcomes you get. Stop complaining about being one in four of you will be married. Stop complaining that the best of your college educated men go pick non-black women. Stop complaining because you're not even competing on the bare minimum. We're talking about smiling, being cordial, just simply smiling. Do you realize how ridiculous of a conversation this sounds like to non-black people? I have. There's no other group of people on the planet that we know of have this type of discussion. A group of black women who say they are afraid to smile at black men. The black men that they're supposed to be with. But you upset when the black man go and be with some other nationality. But you don't feel we ain't even worth a damn smile, but you want us to chase after you? You're threatened of us? You're afraid of us? According to this little girl, 
That's how that is. Why should we come after you? Maybe, well, maybe that's why all these dudes going across the seas and dating out. It ain't us. It's you. You don't want us, so we moving on. But the thing is, who wants you now? Who wants you? Okay, then what's the misunderstanding? There, at that point, there is no misunderstanding. I'm just defending my own perspective when I've been told that I'm unapproachable because I come off that way. When sometimes it's just me just having a, a stale face. Because it's like, why is it such a, a demand for for women to, well, especially for black women to just always look a certain way? Like, why can't we just naturally be whatever we feel? Not necessarily, but sometimes it's just, it's just well, how about if this? How about this? How about if no one said a damn thing to you? What if every man just left you the fuck alone? Hundreds of emails about this from non-black people and emails and comments like, Jesus Christ, your women wouldn't even smile at you? Jesus, I mean, and, and, and this is a real thing. This is like night two, and we get more women coming on instead of just saying, damn, I didn't know it was this bad. Wow, how can we fix that? It's, well, let me tell you why we do it. We don't give a French toast why you do it. We don't like it. We don't like it. We don't want it. If you're not going to give black men what they want, stop asking for black men to give you anything. So with all that, let's get the conversation started. Hit me up in the comments. Let's keep it classy, but give me your opinion on what you think about this. Ladies, give me your opinion. Men, I know what you're going to say. But let's get the conversation started, and that's it for me. It's your boy, Mr. Nobody, and you guys know what it is. Always stay vibing. Make sure y'all click on the next video that pops up in the little screen right there. And as your boy say, y'all take care. Peace.